To do 2D and 3D plotting on an HP 50G, first go to Apps, and then Plot Functions, and then Equation Entry. And right now we're plotting a function, so let's add that, and this is just going to be 2D. Let's do a very simple example, x to the power of 2. Now we can draw that, and there it is. And if you want to trace that, you can press Trace and then XY, and you can see the values. So 2D plotting is very simple. If we want to plot in 3D, let's first delete this, and then we go left shift, choose, and instead of a function, now we want to choose, there's lots of options, but we want to use a fast 3D. So let's press enter on that, and then we want to go back to where we just were, and now we're using fast 3D. So let's add a function, and now you can see it says X and Y. If it doesn't say X and Y, you're not in the right mode still. So let's put a kind of an interesting function. So now we can draw this and you can see it's a ripple. Once you've drawn it you can rotate on the y-axis going right and left and you can rotate around the x-axis using the up and down arrows and to rotate around the z-axis you use I and L. To zoom in you can press plus and to zoom out you can press minus. And now let's say we want to trace around this function, we can press trace, and we can move our cursor around and find out the different values at the different points. As we're tracing, these are pretty big gaps between the points on the function. If you want to increase the resolution, you can do that by canceling, and then going left shift, win. And now you can change how far you want the axes to stretch, but you can also change the sample counts. For, so I'm, instead of 8, I'm going to do 100. Instead of, instead of 10 and 8, rather, I'm going to do 100 for both. Now this makes it, means it takes longer to draw, and you can see it's a little bit more sluggish as I move it around. However, it means that we get a lot more resolution when we do our trace. So that's how you do that.